Hi, I'm Drew Sauer, and today we're going to talk about selling yourself. Or rather, we're going to talk about an alternative to selling yourself that I think is more powerful. As a coach, I actually get asked this question relatively frequently. And the scenario usually goes like this. Somebody wants to get promoted, they want to take their career to the next level, they're delivering lots of value, but they feel like their story isn't getting out there. They're not getting enough recognition to bump themselves up to that next level. And so they Google, they look at what they should do, and the messages that come back are, you need to sell yourself more. You need to do this self-promotion. And when they think about it, and I certainly had the same reaction when I was thinking about this the first time in my career, it doesn't quite feel right. There's something that they're resisting, that they want to find another way to do it. And I actually think that's right. And we'll talk about that uh, later in this video in terms of a better way to do that. But it really is not about selling yourself. Most people are actually fine selling themselves in the right context. Think about an interview, right? Most people, you might be nervous after the interview, you, it might be a stressful situation, but you, most people don't have a problem actually talking about their skills because they know that's the point. If I'm interviewing you for a job, I'm trying to figure out whether you are the right person to solve my problem. And so I need to know what you can do. Most people understand that, so they have no problem talking about what they've done in a very positive way. So it's not about talking about yourself that's the problem. It's the idea of doing it on a day-to-day -day basis. Right? And I happen to agree with this. If you spend time during your regular job focusing on how to, quote, sell yourself, you're actually focused on the wrong thing. You're focused on yourself and not the problems you should be solving for others. Because at the end of the day, I think if you've taken my crash course, you know I talk about this a lot, it's not about you, it's about them. You need to spend your day job focusing on solving problems for others. Now, that being said, you can't rely on the universe to just hopefully have people notice it. So you do need to do a little work to make sure the message of the value you're, saying, you're, you're delivering is out there. And that's really what we're gonna talk about for the technique today. So here's how it works. A simple three-step process. Step one, deliver some value. Kind of obvious, this is your day job, you should be doing this anyways. So deliver the value of what you're supposed to be doing because that's the foundational building block. And to be honest, if you're not doing anything exceptional in that space, right, it's gonna be very hard to take your career to the next level. So always start blocking and tackling, deliver some value in whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. So that one's probably obvious, you're doing that anyways. Number two, again, something that you should be doing is validating that value. So what we want to do here is say, did we really add the value that we thought we added? Easiest way to do that, go ask. So whether you're reducing costs, improving efficiency, whatever you're doing that's delivering value, who is it for? Figure out who it's for and then go talk to them and ask them what they think. So if you're improving the quality of a product, go to your client and say, oh, you know, the latest release, we put all these fixes in, we made this more efficient, we made it more streamlined. What did you think? And you'll get back one of two major answers. So one is, oh really? Yeah, I, I didn't really see a difference. And if that's the case, it's great feedback because you know what, you missed, right? And it happens, but now you know. So that's not a great value story. So you need to go back to the drawing board, go back to step one, do it again, get some value. But if you did it right, you'll actually get a much better answer. You'll get something that says, yeah, this is great. The new features are much more efficient. Our team's so much more productive. This is, really, this is really great, I appreciate it. So you've gotten some really positive feedback from your client that what you did added value. So that's step two. Step one, deliver the value. Step two, go ask and confirm that you did it. Now here's step three, and this is really the replacement for selling yourself. So some people would think after number two, go to your boss and say, hey boss, we put out a new release. Uh, I did such a wonderful job. I improved quality. I did this, I did that. One, it's very eye focused. It's not the right idea, and that's really what makes myself and a lot of other people you know, uncomfortable doing that, and I don't think it's the right thing to do. Instead, step three is you then share your client story with your boss or whoever else needs to understand the value you're delivering. So you say, hey boss, yeah, I met with our client Sarah the other day. Um, I was asking her about the new product, and she loved it. She said it was much more efficient. Her team is moving faster than ever, and she thought it was great. That's what you share with the boss, and in this case, you are demonstrating quite a number of really valuable characteristics. You're demonstrating client focus. You actually went out there, you demonstrated the value, and you're showing what you delivered. And you're showing the problems that you were solving for the company, for your group, whatever the case may be. And that's a much more powerful way to do it. 
and you're getting the same impact as if you're trying to sell yourself, but you're selling the value you delivered. And hopefully that is a bit more comfortable for you. I think it's a much smarter way to do it. So again, three steps, deliver the value, go validate the value by asking questions and getting good stories from your clients and partners about what the value did for them. Step three, share those stories with whoever needs to know. And in this case, particularly those who will have an influence on your career. So I hope that was useful. As usual, if you want some more in-depth videos, please just go take my Next Level Crash Course. It's free. You can find it on my site at drewsour.com forward slash next level. And once again, I hope it was useful, and I look forward to seeing you next time.